Tower of God, the anime based on Siu's action dark fantasy web manhwa, tells the story of the 25th Bam, a boy who has spent most of his life beneath a large and mysterious tower with only his friend Rachel to keep him company. When Rachel decides to enter the tower, Bam is distraught and goes after her, opening the door to the tower himself. Inside, he will be faced with grueling tests and a whole cast of characters that are all doing whatever it takes to reach the top. To understand this series, we need to deconstruct the tower, if you will. A vast and mysterious structure that is sealed and hosts a variety of unique environments. Spread throughout is an element known as Shinsu, or Divine Water, which has magical properties and allows users to wield and utilize it for various things. The tower has different layers. The top ones typically are associated with the richer folk, nobles of higher status. To ascend the tower, an individual must pass grueling tests of strength and wit against many competitors. Regulars refers to people that are chosen to participate in climbing the tower. You see, everyone's motivations are different, but greater fortunes are to be found for those that dare venture forward, and if they happen to reach the top, they are known formally as rankers, powerful individuals who administer the tower's lower levels. But what lies at the very top? Well, that is not for me to spoil in this video, but I can tell you that the ten great families sit there, with their chief leader, King Jihad, forming a governing body of sorts. It is interesting to note that each floor in the tower is gigantic in scale, with their own culture, language, and government. Some of those people are living in complete isolation, unaware of what lies above and beyond. Our story begins with Bam, a wholesome young boy who doesn't really remember much. He knows of his life before the story, living beneath the tower in darkness. His sole companion, a blonde, hopeful girl named Rachel. She aspires to climb the tower and see the stars above, until one day she actually goes through with it, disappearing and leaving poor Bam behind, telling him to forget about her. Bam, not knowing anything but her, also finds himself inside the tower's first levels alongside one of the caretakers, Hedon, who informs him that in order to fulfill his desire of climbing it and finding the girl, he must pass a series of tests from each floor. It is through this exposition that we really do get a sense of wonder and world building. Siu is able to take a concept and expand it to interesting heights. Along the way, we meet several other characters who befriend Bam through unusual circumstances. Most of the tests require physical combat, military-like strategy, and Shinzu-related requirements. You've got the character of Kun Agero Agnes and Rak Wraithraiser, two of the main supporting cast who form an alliance with Bam after witnessing an item the young boy carries. Though unclear at first, as the story progresses, their bonds of friendship deepen as they get further into the exams and the ascension. At 13 episodes, the Tower of God anime does a good job of introducing us to a myriad of characters, worlds, and ideas about the desire for exploration, aiming towards a bigger goal, the struggles with obtaining wealth, fame, and power. Yet some characters are not here for that. Bam is searching for his friend. The lizard-like girl Anak Jahad is on a path of bloody revenge. Rak is proving himself to be the strongest, and some are dealing with betrayals, like Kun with the exile of his family. An aspect of this series that intrigued me is the hierarchy and political play that is at stake. You see, nobles and the princesses of Jihad and the kings and all that stuff, and many other factors, I should say, aren't going to sit idly by as regular individuals ascend this tower. Sure, I could sit here and tell you how jam-packed some of the episodes are with information and exposition, and yes, I can admit that some of it required a second viewing for yours truly, but honestly, all the military-esque terminology about battle positions, the, the scheming, the betrayals by people of power, and those seeking said power, 
really do bring to life this world that is unlike most stories. Unfortunately, nowadays, most new anime are greenlit to just 12 or 13 episodes, so all these companies are stuffing each season with as much bait, eye candy, and information as possible to win over audiences and secure more episodes down the line. Hopefully, Tower of God does get that second go-around because there is a lot more story to tell. At the core of this story, however, is Bam and Rachel. Their relationship defines the story. One boy who will do anything to be reunited with the only person he has known throughout his life, and the other who has abandoned her previous life in pursuit of something greater. There are many twists and turns to be found in this series, but at the center of it all, I can't help but be fascinated by Bam's strong will and determination. Some might call it naive, but I find it inspirational. Whether it is for a foolish endeavor is up to you to decide, but I think we could all find something to be inspired in this young man's quest. As Bam's journey through different stages continues, we go along for the ride, learning about this world and its many rules. We find out about the different people and creatures involved and how they are all aiming for the top of the tower for various reasons. How this one desire and quest for knowledge, power, and understanding can drive people mad at whatever cost. The supporting cast is quite diverse. Some of the characters, unfortunately, can be a little underdeveloped, but they're never boring to look at. There is also a lot of hidden foul play involved with tournaments, fighting, testing, all that stuff. We aren't given a lot of answers and are expected to figure things out alongside our protagonist, something I'm always fond of. In a world with constant spoon-fed information, I enjoy the mystery and uncertainty of the plot. The art style and fluidity of the animation is to be commended. Telecom Animation Film brought their A-game to make this anime possible. The landscapes, character designs, and architecture of the story are absolutely beautiful. The musical production, writing, and story are great as well. I can't tell you how happy it makes me to see Manwa being promoted worldwide. Kudos to Crunchyroll for helping in the production of this adaptation. Spreading the word of talented Korean writers is a true welcomed sight. Tower of God has a lot to offer to fans of Battle Shonen series, with rich, detailed world building and interesting character backstories. The series dives headfirst into a huge world of uncertainty. Yet, the only certainty is the tower and its desire for people to climb it.